and then to get the book printed cost me about to get 40 yeah to get what was it? i think 20 copies was 38 pounds or something like that, that. which ain't bad bro yeah. then i was selling them for like five each you make money back and then i think to but to get the book converted to be able to go into ebook that cost me i think 100 pounds oh, okay because um, then the dude had to do all sorts of stuff with it and, and I think I paid for a spell check actually I paid for a spell check as well and that cost me about 100 quid this time around I'm just sending it to my sister she's gone to uni <laughs> and that you know what I mean she can have a look and, um, and, and then see, I'm not going to pay 150 quid for somebody to spell check me yeah, yeah. and then on the back there's a spelling there's a word there's not even a spelling mistake there's a missed word where it says this book poetry instead of this book of poetry <laughs> and that's stuck like that forever man <laughs> So, you, know you, I mean? you pay for a spell check as well. Pay for people, bro. I paid. I paid good, hard, hard earned money. And then they cock it up. And it's at the back. It's a black. The, 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 the back thing which you have to read to understand. Yeah, the blurb. The, book, like, the blurb. Imagine. That's the word. And um, so the first thing you're going to see, oh, this part can't even bloody write. <laughs> you literally can't even write the thing at the back here. And there was a spell check. Hence, yeah. I haven't blown up just yet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the new book's going to have to be perfect in terms of spelling. Are and you self publishing that one or you go through one of the other? self publish it, dude. You know why? It's because um, so I'm looking at stuff. All, all you really have to do is get your ISBN number for your barcode. Okay. That's the main thing. So that you can track it. And then getting it on Kindle and that is like free to get it onto Kindle. It's just about getting it converted. Okay. I'm going to do it independently. Just as I mentioned, it's called Sugar. And it's got a lot of controversial stuff in it. And I think it's got a lot of stuff which may be... I would imagine companies might not want to have recognized next to the name. We have a culture of deplatforming and stuff like that mm. just because somebody might have a, a not left-wing point of view. Although and there is the uh, poetry publishers, I think what they call Bad Betty Press. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard yeah. about Bad Betty. Yeah, man, look, all that kind of stuff is re- really appealing to me, but also coming off the back of the hip-hop thing, when I was still... You know, really wanted to be a rapper and that I was really modeling myself yeah. off of a model technique and the whole independence yeah, scene yeah, and being yeah, in charge yeah. of your own money, going to Sony and pissing the elevator and all like and, and like all those kinds of lyrics. Um, and so yeah, that so I think being independent is a really good kind of way to keep a hold of your stuff. The only thing is that um, sometimes you know signing up to a publisher or something like that could open up a lot of doors and it could get me into literary festivals. It could get my yeah. book into Waterstones and. Sometimes you might have to do that. The only thing I'm afraid of is because this book has been written in the spirit of provoking people to have debates, you often hear me at night say, if anybody disagrees with me, come talk to me or whatever. In this book, I've got an email address set up here. If there's anything people disagree with me or they think I'm wrong or being bigoted, then they must, I'll ask them to please contact me. Yeah. Um, and then that's going to go into the follow-up book where it's going to be stuff I'm challenged on all for this. And so the thing is that the whole book, the point of the book is that it's supposed to be controversial, so I just worry about any kind of bigger publisher kind of saying you know censor this censor yeah, that yeah. when I'd much rather just give the middle finger to everybody yeah, like I'm yeah, planning yeah, yeah, basically yeah. Ir- irrespective of your demographic you get a middle finger in this uh, no yeah, holds barred no, no, I hear what you mean it means you have kind of your own platform you can do whatever you want as mm-hmm. opposed to a publisher a specific publisher and they're like well hang on we like it but there's this part here that we're not sure about and yes. you have to go back and do revision and, and, nobody, and, that, and, and nobody wants to do that <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, yeah. especially now with like censorship and fake news and all that kind of stuff, people I think are even more kind of incentivized to be like, this is exactly what I said, this yeah. is exactly my points of view, do not misquote me, this do not misrepresent me, this and it's and that's the nice thing about and the double edged sword of a book and poetry is that first of all you can get down exactly what you're saying mm-hmm. into the black and white there, but at the exact same time any old person can take just one line and say this is what you said and take it yeah. out and then you really have to be like, Well let me get the you know, let me prove you wrong. And this is what you see happens with <clears throat> people in CV and on the news, what we were talking about earlier all the time, is people getting misquoted. So as soon as you put our words out there, they can do whatever they want with yeah, them and they can yeah, yeah. photoshop and do whatever. But um, at least it's in black and white for people yeah, to see. And, I, and, and, and hopefully the whole aim of it is it's going to get people talking. That's I think we ended up yeah. in the political situations in right now because people were afraid to say their points of views. They went and expressed themselves in a, in a voting booth. And if we could have had these kind of debates, as you said, two years ago, maybe we'd be in a lot healthier situation yeah. right now. Yeah, it's true. So I'm hoping to kind of, I speak about like racism, feminism, religion, abortion, all sorts of stuff that's oh, going to piss cool. people off. Hopefully, right privilege, everything. But and, it's um, also good though, because it's all, while I think written word is the only form of word that kind of 
one stands the test of time and also it's the only thing that's evolving you know mm -hmm. <laughs> like everything else is not really evolving that much if it's causing if if the words are making people talk about things then it's a good thing yeah man because we, we should be talking about exactly. these things you yeah know? we should be having these conversations yeah, exactly. and, if, and if it takes like uh, something like poetry to get people to start speaking because like and don't get me wrong i think that there are a lot of people in public life and they're trying to have good genuine honest debates and i like um i'm quite a big fan of uh, russell brand with his under the skin yeah, podcast yeah, yeah. he gets all sorts of different folks with all sorts of different you know country points of views but i think that's more stuff obviously needs to be done and in the poetry world i find it to be for as much as what they are extremely open-minded people a lot more open-minded than where, where i find in general life I also find it to be extremely left-leaning, which is why I think having a point of view that isn't necessarily super left-wing, um, but classically liberal in the, in, the, in the sense, I think could also be something to help me stand out a little yeah. bit. You know what I mean? In, in, in this day and age where there's tons and tons and tons of really pristine, talented poets. It's not just good poets, there's lots and lots yeah. of brilliant poets. You, it, being a brilliant poet ain't enough, man. You've got to be a brilliant poet and have something else going yeah. about you as well. And maybe I'm just not good enough. You know, and the brats a little soft dig there. But the point that I'm making is that because the bar has been set yeah. so high, simply being good ain't enough anymore. No, no, of course, yeah. You've got to have all sorts of stuff going for you, man. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So I think content is a nice, easy segue into making yourself different. Like, all right, let me speak about what people are. It's aren't. kind of like, if you want to think about it, poetry is kind of like the reverse of what... Uh, hip hop used to be. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, 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 <laughs> back yeah, yeah, yeah. in the day, we used to love this lyrical content. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, all we yeah, used yeah. to want. If you weren't lyrical, don't then run. go run to the go to the curb, bro. Yeah, we man. don't want to hear you. Yeah, Nowadays, man. all we want to hear about is the music that just uh, they're just talking about three Dance. subjects and you know, drugs, women. Yeah, drugs, cars, women, and making money. Making money. And, oh, dude, it's, it's really it's painful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's painful, bro. And this, and, and, and they were literally. Drink a lot of cough syrup. Will it though? Um, yeah, that's the thing is that they'll just drink loads of cough syrup, dumb themselves down, make songs about absolutely dumb shit. Yeah. But the problem, dude, is that people dig it. Is oh. that it, it ain't the rap. And this is what oh. I think people miss out, dude. It, is, it, it isn't the the supply it's also the demand yeah because there's because there's dope rappers out there man jay cole's on some good positive yeah. stuff push it see has some good stuff logic has some good yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. there's lots of good um akala loki there's lots of good conscious rappers out there but the market is saying we want dumb shit yeah basically bro <laughs> that's what it seems like in any case you know what yeah. i mean what well, is that guy a uh, little Purple, whatever it's Oh, yeah, pump or whatever. Yeah. Pump. Yeah. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Bro, yeah, I, that, no, have bro. you ever actually listened to Gucci Gang, the song? No. Have you ever listened to no. it? I just listened to it for an experiment, right? It's a two minute song where 90% of the song, the lyrics is just Gucci Gang. He oh, just, for 90% of the song, he's just saying Gucci Gang. And I just sat there and I was just like, and people feel people it, bro. People love this. They love it, dude. They <laughs> dance, they jump up and down for I'm it. Sad, like, but Gucci all he says is Gucci Gang repeatedly. Yeah. Like so, I could just be like saying, sitting on a chair, sitting on a chair, sitting on a chair. <laughs> hey, sitting on a chair, sitting on a chair. Because I'm comfortable. Hey, hey, hey. Sitting on a chair, sitting on a chair, sitting on a chair. Hey, something like that. <laughs> There's your the new chair. banger. That's how you make it. That's how you make it. <laughs> you know. Just record what you just did right now. Throw in some like cheesy little like. Like, like, like some other little noise yeah, that people hear, some, some rocking. Bass, get some AOAs in Loads there. of bass. That's loads it. of bass. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Cool. And then, and then, yeah, then you find any sorts of yeah, it. You can it. get famous in this day and age. It's like, that's and, it. I, and I, I do get cynical where I say it's like dumb music made for dumb people. But straight up, bro, like, it, it, yeah. it really is a sign. Like, think of back in the day, like Bohemian Rhapsody and Stairway to Heaven and all that kind of yeah. stuff. And even just, even just old school rap. If, if you, when I was a kid, I wait till she's over. When, so, so, so when I was a kid living in South Africa and I bought Dr. Dre's Chronic album, all of a sudden, even early in that, uh, somebody, my old man got me like an NWA album or something like that. Um, all of a sudden, you were able to literally get a snapshot of this culture. And don't get me wrong, that wasn't all conscious music, yeah. but it wasn't all dumb shit either. And I could actually, to a certain degree, understand what is going on in America. Yeah, and you can visualize life. it. Yeah. You can visualize it and there was substance and there was a good story and there was stuff to it. And yes, there was some dumb shit and there was, you had the car bomb and all that skip. But nowadays, it feels like you really have to try hard to get something good thrown yeah. away. Otherwise, it's just 
some loads of hi hats. Because I mean, like shit. even like the the rappers that weren't so like super lyrical, like think of people like Ludacris. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. he is lyrical, but he's not super lyrical. It's more like, like his style yeah. and his flow. But and even him, he was making songs about, about something. About actual kids. You know? About actual kids. <laughs> and, 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 and which is why he was allowed to have songs like having hoes in different area yeah. codes because you also had good songs yeah these guys don't have any they just have shit music yeah. and, and the hoes in area codes was a band that, oh, that was catchy that was, that was catchy i used to sing along to that i'm not gonna lie bro yeah but at least but you can even listen to um for me the prime example is going to be gangstar bro yeah. who was on some shit back then bro. yeah and he was there and even with his jazz mitzab albums moments for truth all that there was real hip-hop there was real and of course everybody's uh, each generation has got their own attachments to songs and their own nostalgia, yeah, 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 yeah. blah 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 blah. But for real, dude, if you have to listen to that guy, and then if you have to go listen to like Extensor Queen or whatever his name was, um, I know they're they're not even the same kind of music anymore. It's just dudes who rap, yeah, saying that they're into hip hop, but they mumble their shit as they're going along. Like like when I, when I rap and I play guitar, I'll be playing guitar, my acoustic stuff. It's all quite philosophical, or whatever, some loud things, whatever. I pretty much. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. That's the one minute one. Is that the one minute? I I'll be quick. I'll get this point in quick. And the thing is that um oh wait, wait was I? Uh, music. Music. Good music. Anti mumble rap. Uh, Anti mumble rap dudes will mumble their words. Oh, you do your acoustic music. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Sorry. All right. So let me get this before the one minute is up. So when I'll be doing my acoustic music and rapping. I view that being the same distance away from hip hop as mumble rap. Where like all that doing is rapping over some beat that ain't boom bap, but that's certainly ain't a hip hop beat that he's rapping over. And all I'm doing is rapping, using the same art form as rapping over something that definitely yeah, isn't a hip hop beat. Yeah, it's acoustic yeah, yeah. guitar. It's literally, the, it's, it's, it's two branches off of the same thing, but yeah, neither yeah. of them, that's why I don't call myself hip hop, I just say I rap and I do guitar. Yeah, yeah. And that's why those dudes shouldn't dare call themselves rappers because they're just doing dumb shit, bro. And, and, and maybe I'm just a bit of a 30 year old man who yeah, doesn't like the young kids. Maybe, but for real, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just an old cat. Well, again, it's like that South Park episode. Oh, I know, right? The performance is about to continue. Is it? It's, it's a South Park episode where all the music sounds like farts. So what's his name's yeah, dad, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's like, I'm an old fart. And it's the truth they do. Like, yeah. but, then, but, and, but also, you know, then I listen to. When Pusha T put out Daytona last year, it was like seven tracks, and I loved it, bro. And I'm not even into like the whole commercial vibe, but I thought, wow, this is fire, bro. Yeah. All of J. Cole's stuff, I think, is fire, bro. Logic, all the stuff yeah. he puts out, I think, is fire. Kendrick Lamar goes without saying. And even uh, is, Nipsey Hussle, right? Nipsey Hussle, yeah. dude, rest in peace, dude. Yeah, so the thing is that there are lots of new school cats doing fire music, bro. So you can't even blame it on a generational thing. So it's not even like it's a young cat. Young cats yeah, are yeah, making yeah. dope music. It's some stupid fucking dickheads it's making true. dumb music trying to say it, but it's because you're younger. No, man, it's because you're shit. That's yeah. why you're making shit. And people are dumb. That's why they're buying your album. And they, they love the dumb shit. Like. It, 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 it's, it's, it's another immortal technique quote where you said, if a million people buy your luck, um, you know, if, 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 a million people, if a million people buy your album, it's got nothing to do with luck. It just means that a million people are stupid as fuck. And that's and that, that's a straight up honest truth to yeah. it, bro. Is that like, just because loads of people are feeling and stuff, yeah, I wish I could be in your position. But I also know they're feeling your music because they probably just want something mindless yeah. to escape reality to, not because you've got substance to what yeah, you're saying, yeah, man. Yeah. And it's a joke, bro. And it's sad if you think that. And I think that's yeah, probably connected yeah. to a direction society's going in, yeah. where we're more about escapism than stimulating our kind of minds. Yeah. We don't we, we don't want to stimulate that stuff. We want to escape. Yeah. And it's and that's why I think music is taking it up. Not all, but like. Just in my opinion, hip hop. I yeah. start saying, right? Well, I only, you you have to say hip hop because hip hop is pop music now. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> True. It's in the, yeah, that is, hey, that's yeah. what I mean. Pop. It's, all pop means is popular music. Yeah. Hip hop Shut up. is pop. Music. It's here with Katy Perry yeah, and Justin exactly. Bieber. It's the exact same kettle of fish. So it's, it's it's worth talking about it because it's these guys it's who really are frontlining hip hop nowadays yeah. are what people. Or what the kids are listening like kids to. Are going to think these guys yeah. are rappers. And a lot of them I never heard of, bro. When, when I see, the, the, like, when Double XL does their, like, the Young Cats for the year or whatever, I don't recognize anybody. Oh, for the last couple of years, I've just been zoning out. There's and no point. Of, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of them look the same. A lot of them look the same. They're all in the same vibe. They've all got some dumb kind of emo, they look depressed as whole millennial kind of Generation Z looking thing. And it's like, come on, guys. Like, surely we can. Although there was probably not, like, there definitely wasn't much variety in the golden era either. They're all wearing yeah. baggy clothes and hip hop. So I suppose, you know, I suppose styles change. But, you know, I, I just think it's, and hip hop is also its own kind of creature. I yeah. think where, where, where hip hop is, so it's popular music now, but I think where hip hop has always been very distinct to other music 
is just the interaction within hip hop that you see having. Yeah.